Right, now what I'm going to do is to put... Oh, just burnt myself with a glue gun. <laughs> Uh, use the Mod Podge um, and all I do is I give it a really good shake that's one thing about this you do have to shake it well because of the um, glitter inside um, just let me dry that little bit off it where I've sealed it like that now I do want the back glittered so I'm just gonna pop that on and just spread it about you don't have to go right into the corners but you can I just go up to the edge to be honest you don't see inside but I go up to the edge of the canvas itself and spread that like that I'm just going to turn that around make sure I get into the edge Turn it around again, a little bit more. Now I'm looking forward to tomorrow because we are going to the car boot in a place that we haven't been before so I'm quite looking forward to that. I'm hoping the girls are going to go with me. I am doing the edges. Actually I might just pour a little bit on like that. Every now and again, you should really give it a good shake so you're getting a good um, spread of the glitter. fine happy with that just close that for a minute now what I'm going to do is just, just dry that off first I'm not going to bother too much with the uh, middle 
Um, but what I am going to do now is um, to do the edges. Again, give it a good shake. I just pop some on here. Oops, nearly dropped it in there. And then just work around the outside edge to give it that bit of glam. See, it's very quick and very easy to do this. And then like we say, we just dry that off. Just gonna wash my brush. Okie dokie, so we've now got that. Now I'm going to turn mine this way because uh, I have to decorate mine now. Um, that's fine. I'm quite happy with all of that. And the only thing I'm going to do with this is to add some Mod Podge, uh, not Mod Podge, sorry, PVA glue water mix, which is what I use. Um, and I'm just going to lay a little bit in here. I may need to go over that again, uh, but that's to hold um, the spray. The um, uh, the doily. <laughs> I couldn't remember what I was doing then. So we just need to get the doilies out. Now I'm only spraying the back doily, the one on the back. Now with the cosmic shimmers, please remember, don't shake them like that. You just have to give them like that. Otherwise, it, they can get clogged up the uh, piping. And if they do, just undo the cap and um, put them under the tap. I love that colour. Absolutely love it. Let's dry that off a little bit and I'm going to take... You have to be really careful with these because they're delicate things. You know, they really are. Oops, I don't want the black on it. One thing. I should have put a clean piece of paper on, but I haven't, so we'll just make do with what we've got. It's got roses on this one, so I do like that. Now, 
all I'm going to do with that is pop that into my frame. And I'm just going to have that. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the glue and really work from the centre out. Try Because it does crease this stuff because it is only thin paper. But work from the centre outwards to try and keep it flat. Okay. That will all dry clear, don't worry about it. There's one way of trying to keep your doily flat. Again, from the centre out. That's actually put some of that pink colour, like a shadow, around the doily. Now, while that one's wet, then you need to take your... your Because I'm not colouring this one, but this is the one you need to get in the centre. Like that. And it has got a touch of pink, but that's all I'm doing. Not quite, is it? Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not messing about. <laughs> Fifi doesn't mess about. Just do it, girl. Right, that'll do um, for that. Now, what I can do while that is like that, I can also add the feathers. You don't have to wait for it to dry at all. And I'm going to just do that like that bringing that down a little bit so you can see the feather and I've chosen three feathers in pink <sighs> yep like that we'll just get another one <sighs> okay absolutely love these feathers and I do have some for sale at the moment, ladies. And I'm just going to make sure it's really, really glamorous with them feathers. Okay, like that. Nice. Love that. Um, I do have one of these roses, but I want to put a little spray of these in. Now, I don't put my little uh, beaded sprays in until I've decided where all of this is going to go. And I like that. Okay, so that will go bang in the middle, like that. Yeah, love that. I'm also going to add a couple of other flowers in there, I think, besides what I'm putting on the outside, because you can do what you like. You don't. There's no rule to follow. No rule whatsoever to follow in crafting. I'm going to put that there. And then I am going to put this little, little one here. just there. I'm also going to take, um, not going to put the beaded string in at the moment, what I am going to do however is to pop the lace on, okay? And for that we need to do it this end. So I'm just going to start doing the lace, leave that now. So just going around the outside edge with the lace. Slightly pull it, which will give it a straight line. It will help you get that straight line. Don't forget, don't go right to the corner. Because you need to turn the corner. 
and in order to turn the corner and get it straight I'm going to see if I can show you that now not sure if you can see yes you can right don't go right up to the corner just do like an L shape around there and then you squeeze you pull that and you squeeze them together like that which gives you that corner and it's turned the corner properly okay again just try and keep that straight Turn this round a little bit more and I'm going to cut this because um, I'm going to start the next piece as well once I've turned the corner. I'm going to use that to actually turn the corner like that. Take that around, take the next piece of uh, lace. I'm using a white with a pink on top. That's what I'm going to do. Let me just swing this back round to me. Make sure I've got this the right way. I can never tell. <laughs> Probably not. But we we'll start on top, a little bit underneath. And then just join that on like that I just rub my finger over it gently and well with a little bit of pressure um, I do find it helps Okay. Like I say, we're coming up to the corner again. Just go so far. And then to turn the corner, do your V of glue. And then pull it. Just pucker it like that. And it helps to put that corner in. Like that. Excuse me. I hope you're managing to see as as much as possible. Just going to trim off this bit at the end so I can turn this bit here don't worry about any of that let's just turn that corner nicely so there we are, we've got that so far. Now what I'm going to do, just want to make sure that's turned properly, is to take the thin um, pink. Yeah, and we're going to go over that, starting in this corner again. Like that, and a nice straight, straight line, should I say to work from I 
Actually, let me move these out of the way. I'm not sure if you can see this. I hope you can. Um, I don't need any of those anymore. I'll just get rid of that. Can you see? Hope so. Another glue stick. Again, do your V. You can take it up to the edge and then twist it round like that. Keep going. Now I'm going to cut it short on this one. Like that. Take the next one. Okay. Again, go with your V. Actually, you don't really need to do that on this, but I'm just going to leave it like that. it's just like gathering it up just on the edge and it just makes a nice corner Here we are, back to the corner again. Cut that bit off. And I'm going to do mine in one. Like that, okay. Again, now what I'm going to do, and I also have to put on the pearl, pearl trim. Now I have cut them ready. I hope you can see. Make sure I get the longest one for the outside rim. Yep. Let's get this done. Hope you can see this. Sorry if you can't. I'll try and get it back in view. I'm just popping on the trim. <clears throat> 